A 10-year-old boy is dead after fluids from a slaughterhouse cross-contaminated with a juice business in Discovery Basin. And the health department says the two businesses were operating illegally and in close proximity to each other. Unfortunately, one of those persons died. Um, An investigation of uncovered a possible link between ecopathic operations at the premises where the juice making operation was taking place. CVM Live visited the community of Cornerstone to speak to the boy's mother, Nordia Williams. God, I didn't know. I didn't know it was serious because I think this was a normal thing. She says her son, Richard Emmanuel, was feeling ill, dehydrated and weak and had been vomiting, but she was unable to determine why. The distraught mother explained that she packed a knapsack to take Richard to the St. Anne's Bay Hospital on the morning of January 25. However, she was too late. He was there to me and me up with him at 3 o'clock in the morning, in the night, and packed him back. I said, all right, baby, I'm going to keep bringing her to the hospital in the morning. When my brother said, come in, John. <laughs> the child had to reach out and over there so I'd shake. <laughs> we cry on the BM <laughs> and I didn't know it was still <laughs> because anyone didn't tell me <laughs> that they drink something from her. CVM Live also visited the address where the slaughterhouse and juice business is located in the community. No one was available to speak with our news team. Residents were also tight-lipped about the operations, but CVM Live understands that since Richard's death, several residents have reported similar symptoms. The St. Anne Health Department says five people have been affected. Three persons are hospitalized with symptoms related to the illness. They say the slaughterhouse and the juice business have been ordered shut. Now, they're awaiting the results of stool samples of other residents to determine whether their illness is linked to the slaughterhouse and the juice business, as well as the extent of the damage. Jamila Maitland for CVM Live.